so um the manhattan project so in the late 1930s um for the fear that um germans will be the first to make an atomic bomb um several u.s scientists persuaded albert einstein who was yeah one of the greatest scientists of that time to write a letter to the then president warning him of the possibility so this project was basically aimed at building um, a fission atomic bomb and this is an when we talk about atomic bomb what is basically happening is so you have uh, an unstable nuclei which breaks down into its um, daughter nuclides. So you have this, yeah, with the emission of a neutron. And then what happens is this neutron here is able to induce fission in other uh, nuclide. And the nuclide interest here is actually uranium nuclide yeah so you have a parent uranium nuclide which breaks down to form a parent nuclide and then an, um, a neutrite with the emission of a, nu a neutron and then the neutron that is emitted is able to induce another um, uranium nuclide and then there's another um, fission and then this process is a chain reaction that is it's continuous leading to the formation of all these neutrons and this reaction is capable of producing an enormous amount of energy so what happened was the um the project was started in a facility in los alamos new mexico by which was headed by then physicist um, Oppenheimer. And four years later, the research group was successful, yeah, in forming that atomic bomb. And it just follows this reaction I just um, explained. And they tested it at a site in New Mexico and was, yeah, it was successful. So it means in the around 1940s, when the first atomic bomb was made, by the United States, which produces about 18,000 tons of dynamite. Like its force, the amount of force it gives out is equivalent to 18,000 tons of dynamite. And what happened later was the US then used these bombs that they were afraid the Germans were going to actually form. Yeah, like they'll be the first to form them on Japan, dropping one on Hiroshima and another on Nagasaki, killing about 2,000, 200,000 people, leading to the surrender of Japan. Yeah, so it's basically a uranium um, nuclide that undergoes fission, and fission is just um, breaking down. So it undergoes fission, and then it leads to the emission of a neutron, which can then induce another uranium. Yeah, so the uh, peculiar thing about this is you need a specific amount, mass of the uranium, because it has to be controlled or else with this large amount of energy that is released, it can be fatal.